I was born in a family that knew Christ and worshipped Christ. My parents took me to church and dedicated me to the Lord when I was just a few months old. Back then I was crying and my mom told me that the pastor almost dropped me during this blessing. Ministry was always a goal in my family. My father taught us, uh, my brother and, and me, each one a poem that we were supposed to recite on Mother's Day. I was only five years old, and all three of us, we did that as a special thing at church. Later on, my brother and I started to play instruments. Uh, my brother played piano and I played guitar. We would do special music a few times a year, uh, a year in our home church. But from time to time, my father and my brother and I travel around the uh, surrounding villages and my father would preach the gospel and we would worship by playing our instruments. I know that I accepted Christ as my Lord and Savior on a New Year's Eve day in the 1990s when my home church had a special service. A country singer was uh, the special guest and his testimony on how Jesus transformed his life moved me. I wanted to have a similar life filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. As a teen, I attended a public school affiliated with my home church. There I grew even more in the knowledge of the Word of God. I was sur surrounded by great counsel. I followed the Lord in uh, baptism at the age of 17. After high school, I went to a college away from my family and away from my church. But I found a church and some great Christian friends right away. And even during that time, I, I felt a little bit uh, like I was alone. So I was missing something. So I remember in my second semester, I fasted for one week and I prayed to the Lord to send me somebody special in my life. At the end of that week, I met Gabriella and I was sure, 100% sure, that she was the answer to my prayer. Three months later, I proposed to her. Uh, we dated for two years and then we got married uh, in my junior year. So we were about to finish college and I attended this presentation uh, about teaching in South Carolina. I applied with the company uh, to be a math teacher and I recorded a virtual interview. And this was back in 2003 when the internet was only uh, at the level of dialogue. I didn't tell my parents about all of this because nothing was sure. I had no um, evidence that I would be able to come to the United States. I graduated on June 30th. I finished everything for school. The very next day, we traveled to Bucharest and applied for a visa. Uh, we were granted a visa at the end of that day, so I called my mom and I told her that I was going to the United States. We left Romania with a $100 borrowed from a neighbor and just a clothes of rags, a, a bag of rags, basically. Um, and after three years in South Carolina, we had to go back to Romania, but we were thinking about what would be a way for us to stay in the United States. So the process was challenging. And I remember at one point in time, we wanted to give up and we were supposed to send a fax saying that we renounce uh, all our application and we will just go back to Romania. And uh, that day when I, uh, the secretary asked me to send the fax by myself, I just placed the paper upside down and basically I sent a blank fax. So uh, our application continued and God did a wonderful miracle and we were able to find a job in Farmville, Virginia. Now, we signed the papers and uh, the contract for that job within 14 days of our visa being expired. And uh, Prince Edward County applied for a visa on the very last day that we were legally allowed to be in the United States. And uh, I remember how much we grew through this uh, decision. Later on, we applied for a green card. This application took about six to seven years. It was a long process and we're uh, grateful to Concord Baptist Church for helping us in this process. And we matured a lot. In 2013, 
we had to leave the United States because our process was audited. And during that time, it was a similar time to the pandemic. We had no job, we had no income, and we had no place to stay that we could afford. And um, one of my uh, students, his parents offered to for me to take care of their house. And I lived in a nice house, three-story house, for free for six months, which was a, such a blessing. Um, I remember thinking that uh, I feel more and more like uh, somebody that was blessed beyond belief you, during that time than any other time possible. Um, so my testimony is that life with Christ is always full of interesting things. And ministry is such a blessing, not just to me, but to others as well. So I encourage you to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior and to live for him and to uh, follow him every day of your life.